welcome to IT Boost YouTube channel. Hotline Android App Development. Lesson 8. Text to Speech. Android Text to Speech. To convert text to speech in Android, you may use speak method of Android speech TTS class. It means text to speech class. Right? To use the speak method, we have to use the TTS class, text to speech class. In this tutorial, Android text to speech, we, uh, speech, we will learn how to use the text to speech class and convert the text to speech audio with the help of Kotlin Android application. Right, we will see the steps, the step, text to speech conversion. Following are the steps we have to take while using speak method of text to speech. The first step we have to extend your activity with the text to speech on INIT listener. So we have to extend with the activity class the text to speech on INIT listener. Like this here class main activity app activity this is the default one and we have to extend this is the default extender we have to extend the text to speech on INIT listener. The step 2 initialize the text to speech class variables TTS text to speech this this text to speech context and on INIT listener these are the two uh, this this right the step 3 you may set an event which can trigger the speech output a button on click listener is used in this example so button speak dot set on click listener speak out private fun speak out value text equal to edit text dot text to string tts dot speak right the parameters are going to be text text to speech q flush null the step 4 when your application is started text to speech engine may take some duration of time for initialization to avoid speaking out, you may initially disable the button to speak. When the text to speech engine is initialized, on INIT function is called, which should be overwritten, and you may enable to button here. The step 5. And finally, when your activity is destroyed, stop and shut down the text to speech engine like this public void override fun on destroy. If TTS not null, TTS dot stop, TTS dot stop, sorry, TTS dot shut down and super on destroy. So these are the steps we have to follow. So we will try to do uh, an example. So I will open my Android application, a new one. I will open a new one. I will go to file and I will close the existing one. And I will open a new project. I will select empty activity. I will name text to speech app Kotlin uh, and the language Kotlin and finish. So we have to make our UI user interface. So using the uh, the main constraint constraint layout inside the constraint layout I'm using a linear layout and I have placed the edit text and the button. It's in the vertically aligned edit text. The ID of the edit text is edit text input. The ID of the button is button speak. So we will add this uh, user interface, a button and a edit text. 
So I will go to activity main XML and I will go to go and I will add the linear layout with the button and the edit text. Right. So this is going to be the uh, UI. Right. Now we have to make our main activity class. So in the main activity class, we have to import the classes from the package. So import Android speech, TTS text to speech class, log class inside the util, button class and the edit text class and the util. All the packages from the util from the Java. This is from the Java. Okay. So we will make our main activity uh, Kotlin file. So I, we will import these uh, classes. So I will go to main activity Kotlin and I will import the classes, whatever we need. And after that, we have to extend, we have to extend uh, text to speech, text to speech on INIT listener, this line. And we have to initialize the uh, variables TTS is text to speech initially null a button on speak edit text right and after that these are the default two uh, three lines on uh, on create saved instant and we have to reference the uh, button from the XML from the user interface the button and the edit text we are referencing here find uh, va button underscore speak find view by id r dot id speak as button right that this one for the edit text and we have assigning that button speak to the button speak uh, button speak variable and edit text variable here and button speak dot is enable false if the button speak is enable false tts equal text to speech this this right this this it's going to take this to the edit text and the button button speak dot set on click listener speak out calling the speak out for the on click listener and we are override fun on i uh, on init status int if status equal to text to speech success well, result TTS dot set language uh, local US US language. If result is equal to text to speech uh, language missing data or result text to speech language not supported, right? Log E, it's the language specified is not supported. Else, button speak is enabled true and else to this if right uh, log e its initialization fail and here the speak out this is the speak out function val text edit text dot text to string tts dot speak text text to speech q plus q flush null and this is to shut down the destroy the uh, text to speech so we will add these uh, initializations. So I will go to my class and I will add with the class and everything from the beginning. Right. Here we have the uh, language we made it US. Now we can uh, something wrong. What is that? Uh, We will run and see. There is a red line showing. We'll see. Right. We will run that one and see. The gradle will be running. We have to wait for a few seconds. Right. Launch succeeded. Here. Uh, speak text is there. I will type welcome to IT boost youtube channel and click speak welcome to it boost youtube channel welcome to it boost youtube channel okay. 
I'll put a space to the IT boost. Welcome to Ed Boost YouTube channel. Right. I will close this one. If you want, we can uh, change the language and see. Uh, here, uh, the local. So I will put local French. Right. And I will stop it. So I put the language local French and I will run again. Hello. 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 Right. So you have to type on that language, right? Welcome. Okay. So you can change the language and I try also. So try this example. I hope you enjoyed the video and learn the Android text to speech. If you didn't subscribe our channel, please subscribe our channel. If you have any questions, comment in the comment box.